hey what's up guys so this is now the part two so what we're going to do in the part two is to let's make the silhouette or maybe the seal or the silhouette of the grass so hmm how can we do that right we could just do a simple plane or a simple cube here simple cube move it into the front something like this scale into the x-axis something like this next what we could do here is that we're going to do a particle system all right so before that let's make some hmm Yes, plane is enough for the grass. Does not really matter. Then, subdivide this. Hmm. I think, yes, this is enough for subdivide. Then, control 1. Shade smooth. Focus here. Hmm. We could press 5 on the numpad. Press 5 on the numpad so that... Oh, it still does not work that way. Right? Hmm. Is this flat? Yes, it is. So we could just delete this, the middle part, so that there will be no shadows. Then let's let's just make the shape of the grass, depending on what you want to look like. This will be just our particles. Subdivide it more, or we could remove the subdivision because maybe that's the problem. Of course, if you know a better way to do this, sure. Gonna be grass here, like, you know, the silhouette of the grass. Let's try it first. So that we could start on it. The number 1000. Hmm, the render render as object instance object press the plane then we could go in the hair and we would like to appear on the you know what it does not really matter because it will like be a black color so just make this bigger then source emit from faces next click on advance then once you click on advance click rotation then let's try some different here Then the scale, let's find the scale here. Then let, let's add a 
I randomize in the rotation. Click the sideways, then you just edit here. Something like this. Yes. We could add it or make the number 3K. Something like this. Now, does not look that good, but of course, we're not yet finished. I like this. Let's try to make this color black first. Then no spec, spec uh, the no specular. Then could make also this black as well. No specular. So now you can see right. But yeah, of course we're not yet finished. We could subdivide this into few. Then probably. We could D for D. Or what we can do here is that go here, go into the displacement, or add a displacement modifier. Then, like this, press new, go into the cloud, select clouds. Then, let's see. We could okay, subdivide it once again. Or what does it look like if we remove this? I think what should we do here is to select this, then probably add here. And add here. Yeah, this is enough. Just make this the another part here a little bit lower than the other one then we could rotate this then we could press ctrl x here or i mean go here then press ctrl x so it does not look good so I think this is enough for now. So, what I don't like here is the, the floating. The floating grass. Just press this is if, so that the vertices will be hidden and you could edit it easily. Yeah, just edit it. Until it looks good. So yeah, you could give it a render. And then now we have a silhouette of grass in the our front scene, making it looks like a sunset scene. You could make this lower. Next, is of course, the color of it. So how could we make the color of it? So I think yes, we should do that now the composition will just be easy playing rotate it here something like this move it in front you 
go here add new uh hmm we could make this a composition yeah? simple as that composition then go into the material property set the blend mode into alpha blend then the shadow into none let's add a gradient here transparent connect these two connect the gradient here add a color ramp control 3 the gradient set the rotation of z into 90 now locate it so make these two colors closer together locate it something like this now what we could do here is to hmm, we could make this a little bit of red yes then set this into 0.99 If you set it into 0.95, it looks a little bit saturated. So yeah, 0.98 is fine. Something like that. Now, I just want to like uh, make a gradient over here. So as you can see, if you make this two, now, as you can see, I'll make this a little bit higher. You could see that it has a gradient here, right? Then, of course, I would also like to make this. Hmm. Or we could duplicate this. We could duplicate. Then go here. Name it into composition two. I mean, before you name it or rename it, click this add new material button. Then. Go to edit mode, then assign it. So that even if you change the color of this, something like this, the first one is still original and it won't be affected. So what we'll be going to do, or what we'll be doing here is, is to adjust this. Then let's add a noise texture. Then mix it into the gradient texture. I mean, yeah, I think Voronoi is better. Wait a minute. Let's try Voronoi first. Okay. Then let's make it smooth F1. Yes, something like this. Control T. So that we could control it. Yeah, something like this. Then... I would like to make this hmm, scale on the x-axis, something like this. Now, make this into like 0.8 first so we could see the difference. Then we could make this a little bit orange, something like this. Now, let's make it 0.98. We could try point line first, and it will really does look like this. But it will affect the grass here as well. So we could put this a little bit here. Hmm. I mean. We could add a, another gradient here. So, for a while, add another gradient. Control T. Select this tree. Then, we could mix it here. Setting it into multiply. So that the dark colors will add on each other. Then, we could add a color ramp here.
rotation into 90. Now multiply it. Or let's preview it. So, it's multiplied, right? So, the dark colors will add. So, make this tower bottom white. So, that the grass will not be affected once again. Now, as you can see, the grass here is already also almost black. Then, Oh, I'm wrong with that. You could add the invert here. And something like this. We should make it something like this. Then go into the mix shader, then set it into 0.9 again. And now, yes. So yeah. The grass is not already affected on the bottom, but the, the scene here is now affected with the composition too, something like this. Next, we're going to do is some modeling, and that will be on the part 3. So, I hope you learned a lot in this anime course. Yes, in this anime course of the anime sunset scene, and... I'll see you on the next part. So, see you there.